All right, so now we're going to work on the floor tom. And again, we want to do the same thing. We're going to start with the rezzo side this time, though. We want to get nice finger tight tension everywhere. I'm going to move in a clockwise pattern. So now the bigger drum that you have, bass drum to floor tom, these larger drums, uh, they don't need a lot of tension to get the tone that we're usually going for. Uh, I've gone around only one time, uh, just finger tight, and now I'm only going to go slightly more. Uh, so if we said turning this 180 degrees would be a half a turn, I'm going to go maybe like a quarter turn on each tension rod here. Make sure it's finger tight, quarter turn. Make sure it's nice and stretched and set. Now we're going to listen around on the drum to see if there's anything that's wildly out or which one is the highest in pitch. This is pretty low. Bring that up slightly. So everything's pretty equal right now, which makes sense. This is a brand new drum head. We've done the same thing to every tension rod. It should be pretty equal, pretty nice tension around there. Um, we'll flip the drum over now, do the same thing to this top side. Make sure it's stretched. Do a cross pattern here. Everything's finger tight. Stretch it again. So again, the bigger drums do not need a lot of tension. You want a, a lot of low end and a lot of punch out of these drums. So we're not going to do a bunch of turns around them. On the floor tom, we usually don't want this thing ringing out too long. That's kind of the most common complaint on a floor tom is that it keeps ringing out. Well, that's the uh, technique that we can use of having the resonant head a little bit tighter than the batter head, and that'll cut out some of that sustain to make it more boom and attack and not so much resonance. Uh, so we did the quarter turn on the resonant head. I'm going to do just under a quarter turn, just a little bit, just so some threads are grabbing to hold the head on. So there's barely any tension on there. I'm going to listen around again to see if there's anything. We're listening for what's the highest pitch one. We want to make sure they're all tuned to that. Or if there's anything that's way out of uh, equal pitch, we want to make sure we get it where we need it. Not bad right there. Give it another stretch. So let's hear this guy. Getting nice low in there. Uh, that's about as much resonance as you'd be able to get out of this without really changing the overall tone of the drum. So things like the moon gels uh, or gaffer's tape will just put a little bit of control on the top head and really cut out some of the sustain that we can't get out from tuning. Otherwise, these drums sound pretty excited, or pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited to get the rest of the kit set up so I can play on these.